Morning, piggies. How you doing? How you doing, A? How you doing, B? Piggies are hungry this morning. Sun's out. Dogs are well, out the sun because I'm pig alarm duty. He likes to uh, kind of be the, the guardman for the pigs. So we feed our pigs a granola mash that we get from the Amish. I mean, it literally looks like granola. We fed uh, last year's pig uh, that, and uh, when we had him butchered, I think he came in at like 250, 255. The last month, you know, we've heard people say, well, you wanna feed him corn and things like that. But uh, after talking to the Amish, they have a uh, a, a granola, uh, which is basically the base of what we're feeding the pigs now. It just doesn't have any of the minerals in it and uh, all of the healthy stuff. It's it's just basically, I guess, granola. Uh, that's what the Amish use. At least that's the, what the Amish here use. If it's good enough for them, it's good enough for us. So Well, uh, <laughs> we're at it again. You know, there's my my driveway. Looks nice. We've got a little bit of water, a lot of melting back here. Look at that. That looks fantastic. Uh, yeah, we're expected five to eight inches tonight. Now I knew we were getting snow, but uh, I didn't realize we were getting that much snow. I mean, that that's that's significant. Uh, the worst part about it is that it's going to be heavy, wet, and we've got those softball canopies that we've got to keep an eye on tonight. So uh, I told Jen that uh, she can uh, she can take the night off since uh, she's usually the one who does it at night because I have to get up in the morning. But I don't have to get up tomorrow morning, so I'll be up. Got to get a rake here. I don't want that thing buried in the snow. So I'm going to take you folks with, uh, if I can, <coughs> kind of show you what, you know, what it's like to live in Maine in March. Now, like most people who live in snowy areas, this is a nice little thing we've got to do. Raise our wiper blades so that when the snow falls... <coughs> Number one, it's easier to clean the windows, but uh, more importantly, our wipers don't get all clogged up. Now, <clears throat> the radar shows that it should be snowing right now, but it's not, which is good. It gives me enough time to get things in order. Uh, we've got this canopy here, and not sure if you can see it or not, but it's right between the trailer and the shop or the, the storage building there. There's that one there. So we've got to keep uh, keep those clean today. Or I'm sorry, tonight. Because, uh, yeah, like I said, man, this is going to be a lot of snow. Very, very heavy. Uh, good news is that it's still warm. So uh, it'll probably take, I don't know, three or four days for it to melt and get our yard back to looking like this which would be really nice 
<laughs> but uh, yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna head in and we're gonna wait for the snow. So we were supposed to get like three to five inches last night, but uh, we didn't. We only got about, say about an inch, inch and a half maybe. Now, unfortunately, because of those softwall canopies, yeah, I was up every two hours to come out here and clean them off. We just can't risk having those things fall. I'm just glad that we didn't get as much snow as they were calling for. So we're gonna make a round right now. It's only about 6.30 in the morning. Actually, I think it's more like six. <laughs> I'm gonna put you down here for a second. Uh, let's see, okay. Yeah, so it's only like, I think it's six o'clock. Um, it has not snowed as much as it had called for, which is great because these these canopies can't hold too much weight on them especially this one because there's really large you know from this from this pipe here over to this pipe here i mean that's that's four and a half maybe hell that might even be five feet it's a big this big gap and these black straps here they work a little bit but uh they're not <laughs> They're not, uh, yeah, they, they really didn't work. <laughs> Anyways, so, yeah, that one looks fine for now. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, those look okay. We're going to go check the, uh, the garage. That's the big one. Yeah, the garage looks great, actually. Yeah, there's nothing up there. So that's really good. Uh, ooh, check this out. Looks like we've got a critter. I don't know what that is. My guess is that it is a red squirrel. Or it might be a little weasel. You can see they definitely went inside. Now, with the dogs out here, Fort tasunka has got a little bit of a cough going on. Because the dogs are out here, I don't want to make any sudden movements. Oh, look at that. I tried to get into the shop. Uh, I don't want the critter to come out because dogs will attack it and kill it. And just not, <laughs> not up for this, for that this morning. Boy, what a beautiful, beautiful morning it is. There is nothing like a fresh coat of snow out here. Holy smokes. Oh, hey, by the way, that sled right there, I know it's covered up at the moment, but we're going to sell that one. Uh, it runs like a champ, but uh, we have that one. We just don't need two of them. That was the first sled, the first two-up sled that we had gotten. And, uh, yeah, we decided we don't need it. So we're going to go ahead and sell that one. <clears throat> uh, you know, everything looks fine. Oh, look at this. That little critter. Boy, he might have went underneath the uh, storage building here. Mm, let's see if we can get the dog. Oh, oh, looks like the dog's smelling it. Oh, they're on it. Uh-oh. They are totally on it. And that's what I mean. It's like these uh, Australian cattle dogs, look at them. They're going nuts. They uh, they do not like critters. Let's go. I got to get it, call them off of it. Otherwise, they will destroy it. Whitco. Whitco, come. Come. <laughs> They're all over that thing. <laughs> they do not like critters here. <laughs> In the homestead, they are still 
going nuts. Come on, boys. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool to have, you know. It does they do keep the critters away? And but uh, yeah, not really up for uh, yeah. Oh, not really up for that this morning. It's cold. I want to go inside. <laughs> But uh, they definitely protect us. All right. Well, it looks like everything is safe and secure this morning. Um, I am actually in the middle of making a video for you folks on uh, what it's like for us to edit the video. So that's uh, actually what I'm working on this morning. I hope you guys like it. Uh, kind of gives an insight to what it's like to film and then uh and then edit and you know obviously produce or produce publish one of these videos so where's your rope Find it. Kind of cool. You kind of see the snow. Boy, so beautiful. Solar panels, got the boys out here. Pigs are doing good. started with about an inch or two really not that much but now it's starting to come down a little thicker so we got to get that cleaned off we're gonna go inside and do it though so i got an interesting fact for you guys uh, one we checked which was i don't know a few days ago i'm gonna try to set this thing down here um there we go yeah so when we checked a few days ago uh they say that this area of maine we got uh so far collectively six and a half feet of snow Six and a half feet. Isn't that crazy? Six and a half feet. Man. With this uh, tarp, we use our 
solar panel rake because it's got this foam on it. Works great. Oh, yeah. You can see my zip tie work. We have a subscriber, Ernest. He uh, he made a comment the other day about uh, my zip tie hacks. <laughs> Says it was my thing. I don't know if it's true or not, but I do love zip ties. Now that that's done, we are going to go ahead and we're going to put our rake back, and then. Uh, yeah, take a walk around, see how everything's looking. Look at the woods. My goodness. Just so beautiful. God, I love the snow, especially when it's like this. Well, and just like that, we have blue skies. <laughs> Looks like it probably dumped, if I had to guess, I'd say 8 to 10 uh, overall in the last 24 hours. Uh, probably going to come out closer to, probably closer to 8. This was a heavy one, too. Um, it was really thick, and it just seemed like it was never going to end. But... Uh, not only did it end, we are fortunate enough to get some blue skies today. Gosh, that's so awesome. You know, this snow, albeit deep, it's not going to last. It's not going to stick around too long. Oh, gosh, look at those trees. My goodness, those trees are beautiful. <laughs> uh, Mr. Whitco and Tisanka. 
Oh yeah. They love the snow, especially the fresh snow. So I'm actually standing where my road is. And uh, yeah, wow, this is rough. So there's our snowmobile track. And uh, yeah, I have to drive in this later. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Not tonight. We're going to be driving in it tomorrow. But uh, we'll definitely be taking the truck because I'm not taking a Jeep through that. Man, look at how beautiful that is. Oh. You know, people who don't like snow, who don't appreciate it, I got nothing against them. But uh, for me personally and for Jen... There's just, there's such a, there's a beauty, a serene, I don't know. I don't have the words to describe it, but uh, it's just so amazing out here. Uh, but that's not to say we're not ready for spring, because I'll tell you what, we are seriously ready for spring. Oh my goodness. The boys are too. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't kidding when they said they love fresh snow. So it sounds like, or it looks like, Tsunka got a whiff of something. Or a sound of something. Oh. And they're off. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, listen, thanks so much for sticking around and watching this video. This was a fun video for us to make. Oh, my gosh. Look at that sky. Holy smokes. All right. Well, thanks for sticking around watching the video. If you haven't done so, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you folks on the next video. Ain't that right, Tasanka? Ain't that right, baby? Where's Whitco? Get him. Get him. Get him. <laughs> oh, I love this.